This is a tutorial on the basic use of ScienceDirect. ScienceDirect is a database of journal articles. We subscribe to the Social Sciences and Humanities portion, so it's useful for topics in those areas. Most of the articles are full text. To start, select the collection Social Sciences and Humanities. This is the collection we subscribe to. This is the list of journals in the collection. We are going to search this collection. Click on Advanced Search. This screen gives us lots of control over our search. I'm looking for information about needle exchange programs in Canada. I type needle exchange in the first search box. Pull down the menu box abstract title keywords. Notice that there is no subject option as we see in many other databases. The keywords are terms the author provides, not subjects from a thesaurus or list of subjects. In this database, abstract title keywords is the best search to use. Let's change some of the options to make our search results more usable. Uncheck articles in press because they are not published yet. Pull down the source and select subscribed journals. I'm going to limit the search to article and review article because the other options are not very useful for doing research. Now I can proceed to search. The results show 22 articles, most of them full text on needle exchange. However, I want to research the situation in Canada. In the box, search within results, type in Canada. Now I'm down to four articles with some Canadian content. If you want to email several articles, check the box beside each title and click on email articles. This gives you the email articles box, which emails all the articles. We'll go back and look at the list. We'll uncheck these. And as we look at the list, we can see that number two is the only one that's really, really on our topic. Click on the title to bring up the HTML version of the article. If you want to print the article, click on the PDF icon and then you'll print from the PDF reader. ScienceDirect is very good at linking other articles from this screen. Look at the right box, Related Articles in ScienceDirect College Edition. When you mouse over the title, you get more information. Number one is on our topic. We could click on it to see the full record. This brings up a record that is related, but it is not full text. You would have to find the article in our journal's database. For more links and references, go to the very bottom of the article. Some articles there are linked, but the full text ones are not directly linked. This bibliography is worth copying. Copy the bibliography and then paste it into Notepad or any other text editor. Now you can print this out and then track these articles through your local library. This concludes this tutorial. Happy searching!